Hi guys, Barmy for Spurred On. We just lost 2 1 at home to Southampton in the penultimate game of the season. I've got Nick with me. Nick wearing a lovely old 1960s style Spurs shirt. Uh, and, are there, and a 70 silk scarf. There and you a go. 70 silk scarf. Are there any positives at all from that? I mean, it was. I think it's up there for, with our, well, our worst game of the season. I, I think it was a poor game, but you know, we, as we've done all season, we were the ones that were pushing, we were the ones that were more positive. I think the team looked a bit tired. I think what it illustrated is what everybody knows. We, we lack some depth in the squad. So, unfortunately, Mason, ironically, last season, he was, he was anchoring the midfield with Bentaleb, but now he's a fringe player. He looked a fringe player today. He didn't really get in the game. He was playing really deep. Maybe that's Pochettino's orders. Um, you know, Chadley's peripheral and G's coming back from injury. And, you know, the, the reality is we missed Dembele and, and Ali, and they're our best two players. Yeah. Um, and, and we didn't make chances for Harry Kane because Southampton was sitting so deep and, yeah. and we didn't break them down. And credit to them, they, they were quite positive because when they came forward, they always had four across the back, across the, you know, the, that, that forward line. And uh, they had banks and they were disciplined and they're a good side. You know, someone said to me before the game, current form, they're second best in the league since New Year. So, look, you know, it was a disappointing game. I thought we had the chances to kill them off. We didn't take the chances again. It's a bit like West Brom. Yeah. Um, we need some more quality players in that squad. Well, hey, listen, the beginning of the season, we, exactly. we are, you know, so let's be positive about exactly. it. Exactly. So, I've followed Spurs for a long, long time, since yeah. the late 60s. I've seen us relegated, I've seen us come back. They've given us some great games this season, those boys over there, so, yeah. you know. And also, the fact that we're guaranteed top three means that we'll be able to get a better quality of player to boost that squad exactly. in the summer. Exactly. Let's just hope Arsenal don't win today, because I've got a feeling they might. They might but win, before, but if they don't, then uh, it's ours anyway. All right, guy. I hope you put me on Spurs TV, because my son's 15. He loves you, boys. Good he man. watches it all the time. Nick, and thanks a lot. Do, and you do a great job, by the way. All right, Nick, thanks right. a lot, guys. Let us know what you thought of Nick's comments in the comments box below.